I'm, I'm, I'm tired of talking about it. Let's do it. Girl, I'm missing you like bitches miss my music. And I swear, I can't wait to drop you. Hit your body with that yapper. Hit your body with that yapper. Then get hot. Radio killer. Cousin traveled with the church choir everywhere. And he always was singing. He was the singer. He used to sing. He was singing every five minutes. And his mom encouraged that. He was a pretty popular guy in the music as far as he was in the band. Music was a way out for everybody, I think, at that time. In the 80s, I guess, late 80s, going into the 90s. He loved instruments, period. And he was keyboards and, and guitars and didn't have a lick of lessons, but he just swear he was <laughs> he was just getting down. And he was a, always a person that would write a lot. He wrote Umbrella. We were just so excited we knew he was going places. I played trumpet since the third grade, um, so I was musically inclined, but as far as writing, like I didn't even understand what that meant, like to be a songwriter. Really, I'm blessed to have have everybody um, wanting to work with me, but also without the opportunity, I don't have that. So it's like a chain reaction. If I don't have them, right, then you know I I don't have anything. I realized that cousin was onto something when he called me and he said, "I got my big check." I want to say I began to be the dream probably somewhere in 2000, 2001. Same guy as I was then as I am now, I think. Just I know a little bit more. This tour actually killed the lights tour. Um, it was just something that was appreciation for my fans and, and not only that, for everybody around us. Very non-political, something I put together myself. I didn't tour as much because I'm a songwriter. So I felt a little like I shammed him kind of a little bit and I was like, let me go out. So I, I, everybody has like 18 months to try to kill me on the road. He tries to be a perfectionist. Turn it down and play it. Can't you listen to certain words in there that I say? He likes everything done right. He, he likes everything to be on point. The thing about the Nash family, which is his him, is all the women train the men to be good men. To be loving, charismatic, a gentleman. That, that's in our DNA. I'm happy that he stuck with his passion. The persona of the dream is almost just like this um, honest, sex-crazed, non-judgmental beacon of raw, sensual life and energy. That's who I am. The dream is my favorite artist. He's sung my favorite song, Purple Kisses. February Love. Nikki Part 2. Oh, God. Sorry and Yamaha. Oh, yeah. Love okay. I do like Love okay. Playing in the head. He's got a great message throughout all of his music, all of his albums. I love you, Dream. Make more music. Keep doing your thing. What I like about you, you're original. You know what I'm saying? You got a mind of your own and you're not settling for what the industry tells you to do. You're one of the realest people I've ever heard. I think your music speaks from your heart and um, so genuine. So genuine. I love you. We've seen great people come from nothing. So if you have something, that means that you should go to even higher levels of achieving what your goals and your dreams are. I speak for all of us, we have no excuses. We will go on to be exactly who we want to be in pursuit of the American dream. From the bottom of my heart, um, you guys make this made this uh, unbelievable experience for me and um, just want to say that I appreciate you guys. Cheers. 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 Cheers.